Welcome back to Touch Technology Review. Today, we're diving into my top five favorite new features in DaVinci Resolve 19, from stunning new titles and generators to powerful productivity and usability enhancements. There's a lot to love in this update. If you haven't updated yet, make sure you're running version 19.1.2 or above. Just head over to the DaVinci Resolve menu and click check for updates to stay current. All right, let's jump in and explore these exciting new features. Let's start with the brand new Fusion Titles. To access these, click on Titles, go to the Fusion Titles section, and you'll see a whole range of new titles that you can use. There's Blueprint, Circus, Glass, Glossy Blue, Gradient Background, Gradient Outline, Metallic Steel, Pal, Rainbow, Sign Off, Slime, Speed, Statement, Tasteful, Tangerine, Victory, and last of all, Volcano. There's also a whole bunch of new Fusion Generators. There's Cartoon, Cube Array, Disk Wall, which when you first place it on the timeline is static. So if you want to animate it, you can go into the Generators section in the Inspector tab click on animation, create a few keyframes, and you'll end up with an animated version. Gradient lines is already animated, hexagon glow, honeycomb, radial lines, squares, and stage curtains, which is probably the most impressive of all, which actually has an alpha layer. So if you place a video clip underneath it, it will appear as those stage curtains are literally opening over the top of your video. And finally, there's Starfield. There's been some improvements in terms of the audio usability. Now, when you're in the editor mode in your inspector tab, click on file and you can see the audio waveform information previously you had to right click on the video clip and go to clip attribute now right within the inspector tab in the file tab you can go in and find the exact same information if you click on it you can remap your audio channels from stereo to mono which is useful particularly if you're recording voiceovers if you click on the Mixer tab in the Inspector, you now get access directly to the EQ, which previously you had to go into the Fairlight tab. And if you click on the DX icon, you can open up the Dynamics with the basic Compressor, Expander, etc. Once again, saving you time so you don't have to go into the Fairlight tab. Another usability improvement is the Auto Import feature. If you create a new media bin, I'm going to call it Project Videos and drag some content into that folder. If I right click on the Project Videos folder and select Automatically Resync Media Files, every time I place a new media file in that folder in Mac OS, it automatically imports into DaVinci Resolve, saving you from having to constantly import new content that comes in from that folder. Copy and paste has been improved in the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. I'm not sure if you ever came across this problem before, but quite often when you copy and pasted a video clip, it would paste at the end of the timeline, not at the playhead. Now, wherever you place the playhead, you can copy and paste the clip in the correct position. Now you can change the background of your project. Click on the icon to the left of the tools near the timeline. Click on viewer background and you can change the colors from black to gray to checkerboard for transparency. And that wraps up my top five features in DaVinci Resolve 19. I hope you found these updates 
as exciting and useful as I did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Drop a comment below and let me know which feature you are most excited about or if there's something else you'd like me to cover on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.